Welcome to Midlum, a small picturesque village nestled in the heart of northern Germany. Surrounded by rolling hills and endless meadows, Midlum has withstood the test of time. With its charming half-timbered houses and cobblestone streets, this village feels like a place out of time, a tranquil retreat from the modern world. The history of Midlum stretches back to the Middle Ages when it was a bustling hub for farmers and merchants drawn to its fertile lands. The fresh breeze from the nearby coast brought not only fishing goods but also prosperity to the village. By the 17th century, Midlum had become an important trade center in the region, renowned for its thriving grain production. But like every village, Midlum has its hidden corners and untold stories. Over time, the importance of trade faded, and many left in search of new opportunities. What remained were the whispers and legends surrounding its old window, a place that has stood at the heart of the village's life and lore for generations. On the outskirts of the village, atop a gentle hill, stands Midlum's old window. For over two centuries, it has stood strong against wind and weather. Not merely a structure of stone and wood, but a silent witness to history. Yet the mill is more than it seems. It is a place steeped in mystery, its stories as weathered as the wood of its great sails. They say the mill holds secrets, a legacy of tragedy and superstition that still lingers in the minds of Midlam's people. And tonight, we'll explore those secrets, unraveling the threads of history that bind this village to its mill, and perhaps uncovering what truly lies within. There's something about the mill in Midlam. It sits there, quiet as a whisper, hidden from the world by the trees and the mist. People think it's abandoned, a mere ruin, a shell from another time, but they don't know, they don't understand. You see, the mill is not dead, it's simply waiting. I know the stories they tell, the warnings they share under their breath. They say the mill is haunted, that shadows move within its walls when no one is looking, that voices echo in its empty halls. But they don't know it like I do. I am the mill's keeper, or perhaps I am its prisoner. Either way, it has chosen me to stay, to listen, to understand. Once a long time ago, the mill was full of life. My great-grandfather was its first keeper, the one who built it, worked it, and lived by its side. But in the heart of one desperate night, with nothing left but a broken-down building and a failing crop, he made a choice, or perhaps the mill made it for him. People say he met a stranger that night, a tall man with cold eyes and a smile that promised miracles. This man offered my great-grandfather the chance to restore the mill, to make it prosperous again. All he had to do was accept the deal without ever asking the price. And he did. That night, the mill came to life again. The crops flourished, the villagers brought their grain, and for a time, all was well. But then, the price revealed itself. It was slow at first. A worker who fell, a hand crushed in the gears. Another who slipped into the river. Little by little, the mill took what it needed, and each life lost seemed to fill it with something else something darker a hunger now they say the souls of those who died here remain bound to the mill feeding its unending hunger and i i am bound to it as well my family has always been the keepers of the mill sworn to care for it to keep it quiet to make sure it waits the others in the village they avoid me they say i'm cursed that anyone who stays near the mill will meet the same fate as those who died here they don't look me in the eye, and I can't blame them, because I've felt it too. The pull of the mill, the way it calls to me, whispers my name when I'm alone. And in the quietest moments, I think I hear the others, the ones who were taken. One evening, a stranger arrived at the village. He was curious, asking questions about the mill, about the voices and the rumors. He said he wanted to see it for himself to uncover its secrets. I tried to warn him, tried to make him see, but he just smiled and walked toward the mill. Maybe the mill wanted him there. Maybe it knew he wouldn't listen. He walked right through the gate, 
past the shadows into the very heart of it. And as he did, I felt the mill stir, a deep, silent joy, like an animal finally fed after years of hunger. He disappeared into the mill. I called his name. I waited, but he never came out. The villagers say he simply vanished. But I know the mill took him, absorbed him, as it had done to so many others before. He became part of its story, <laughs> woven into the very walls. It's quiet now, too quiet. And in the silence, the weight of this place is unbearable. I am alone, surrounded by memories, bound by the mill's will. They say a curse holds me here that I could never leave, even if I wanted to. And perhaps they're right. I used to think there was a way out, that someday someone would come and break the spell. But now I'm not so sure. Maybe I've always been part of the mill from the very beginning. Maybe it has waited just for me. If you ever find yourself in Midlam, you might see it, the silent mill on the hill. But don't come close. Don't listen to its whispers because the mill is patient. It knows how to wait. And someday when the time is right, it will call to someone again, perhaps you. This is the story of the mill that waited, of a place that holds its secrets in silence and of a curse that binds souls to its shadowed walls. Remember, some places are best left undisturbed and some questions are better left unanswered. And so, the story of the old windmill in Midlam remains, a haunting chapter in a village steeped in history and mystery. What do you think? Are the legends merely tales spun by time or is there something more waiting to be discovered? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your theories. Pause as the music swells slightly, creating anticipation. If you enjoyed uncovering the secrets of Midlam, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps bring more stories like this to life. And if you're ready to dive deeper into more mysteries, history, and legends, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss an adventure. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay curious.